Tonight we share an amazing medical discovery with you. Amazing because it involves a local doctor, a wannabe lawyer, the Fred Hutchinson Research Center, body parts that light up, and I should also mention a scorpion. Here's Megan with that story. Ask Dr. Jim Olson what's inside the vial. It's very exciting. And he lights up. After all, his glistening green goo can save lives. The drug is clearly hitting its pathway. To it's prove it, Dr. Olson's pathway. assembled an elite team of scientists and one nice. unlikely recruit. Yeah, right, right. So Andy Keener uh, recently ditched his plans to become a lawyer after witnessing a shocker in Dr. Olson's lab at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. It just rocked my world. It was, it was amazing. Not long ago, Andy was celebrating graduation day at the University of Washington. He was on his way to law school when out of the blue he started getting headaches. And I had to take off work that afternoon and I went and got an MRI and they finally found it was a brain tumor. So, yeah. Andy was put under the care of Dr. Olson. And Andy, when I was seeing him in clinic one day, uh, was telling me that his life really changed when he was diagnosed with brain cancer and that rather than going to be this kind of attack dog corporate lawyer, he really wanted to do something that would change the lives for the better for cancer patients. Kind of sharing that sentiment with Jim and he offered to show me his lab. What Andy saw was life altering and kind of creepy. With the molecules of scorpion venom, Dr. Olson could expose brain cancer like never before. The original molecule came from a scorpion and we have modified it uh, so that it's more drug-like and a better drug. The drug he perfected acts like a flashlight. When it's inside the body, it safely seeks out cancer cells and lights them up. As they glow, surgeons can easily see them and remove them. Very accurate, very real time. It's not looking at a scan that was taken two weeks ago that's hanging up on the wall somewhere. It's called tumor painting, and once it's available in clinical trials, it could help patients just like Andy. Uh, that you have bigger and bigger response. Of both he successfully fought his cancer with traditional treatments. But after joining Dr. Olson's team, Andy's convinced there's a better way. I fully believe that with enough time and dedication, we can make cancer something that uh, is not a death sentence anymore. Dr. Olson's research is so promising, it's launched two spin-off biotech companies, Blaze and Presage, each looking to cure cancer with the help of Mother Nature. One of the things I've learned is that not only scorpions, but sunflowers and violets and spiders and potatoes all make their own drugs. They're protected, right? So now at the Hutchinson Center, we've joined six laboratories together and started a major new initiative uh, where we are using these scaffolds from nature as building blocks to make new drugs against cancer and other diseases. Dr. Olson expects his tumor painting to go into human clinical trials within the next couple of years. He also wants to say that he is very thankful for all the generous people who've donated the money that keeps his research going. We'll be right back.